Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'll be demonstrating a PSD to Sprite Sheet output using Export Kit Suite version 126. Now, this is one of the most tedious and annoying tasks in Photoshop, but it is always recommended, which is to create a Sprite Sheet for your images rather than creating individual images. Uh, this is basically for when you're serving them on your server. A single Sprite Sheet is much smaller and compact to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a common task. Um, let's say for instance we have a couple of icons so we have different sets here 16 by 16 48 by 48 and 128 so you can see off the bat uh, let's just go back and go to that folder we have 22 items in this folder now technically and I'm just gonna do it but explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it what would happen is that if we were to basically create a sprite sheet for this what we would have to do is move each individual icon in Photoshop uh, basically to the position that we want to do and then go to CSS and reposition the items then go to HTML and actually assign the classes now this entire task is basically summarized for you in export kit you'll see that what I'm doing is I'm basically just dragging the icons to the PSD now in Photoshop each individual PNG that you add you basically have to just press enter to add it to the screen um, with export kit you have the option once it's added to you know you can reposition it if you want but export kit will do this for you uh, on its own now because these are images that being said everything that you add so my super text change the uh, 100 and change the color really quick. Let's make that red. Everything is basically translated to the sprite sheet. So the text field that I just created, this will also be included. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's also add uh, the 128 set. So you'll see this is a large number of items that we're basically adding to our sprite sheet. If we were to do this manually, this would be about two to three hours, um, even with the most expert developer. This is a tedious task, so you're going to see how quickly Export Kit will do this for you. And now let's assume we want all three. These are based on your actual outputs that you have available. Um, you can basically purchase them using Export Kit Suite. Now, what it's doing is a layer by layer action. It's actually processing each individual item. Afterwards, it will reposition them to create the sprite sheet, and I'll show you that in the output uh, once it's complete. It's not going to take too long, it's only a couple of seconds. You'll see that it will change the names of each icon. So, although you can simply just drag the item, if you want different class names, then you should rename your items. So, the export is complete. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. So let's take a look at our skins first. You'll see that it's one single image. And let's look at the sprite sheet. You see that it saved every single item that we have in Photoshop, including our text. Now, what it did is it created a couple of files for us. Um, let's take a look real quick at the CSS. Actually, let's just open up the sprite sheet itself. So you'll see that what it does is it'll give us a basic uh, link code that we can copy into any HTML file. But it actually created each individual icon based on the class name. And this is just a quick reference that you can scroll through and just add this to any file. Now, although this right here, it looks like it's cut off, this is just basically to avoid um, super large images. So if you have a huge image, it'll just crop the height to 200. But once you actually add the div, you'll see the full image size. So you'll see it'll go through and it does each individual item and creates the class quickly for you. Now again, this is a two to three hour task, which is cut down to a couple of seconds using Export Kit Suite. Now, if we take a look at the CSS and let's go back and basically check the text as an example. What you'll see is that it does actually maintain the true values. Um, and let's just inspect that really quick. This is just the container of that actual class that's actually maxed the height to 200, so that's why you see the text off a bit. But you'll see that the true width and height is actually measured from the Photoshop file. You can just see the CSS again. You see that all individual layers are translated to background PNGs, and it's using the same individual sprite sheet file that we created from our skins folder. Thank you.